Hey, it's the Scotch Test Dummies. I'm Scott. Bart here. Another smooth ambler. Oh, this is a uh, little bit of a different type of smooth yep. ambler. They're calling it an American whiskey. American, old scout American whiskey. Let's test it. Test it! Refield style. American whiskey style. <laughs> Let's test it. Feel style. Something come out up. there. I'm not sure what I said. It was weird though. All right, we did not too long I can't ago. Read it. Smooth Ambler Contradiction. Sure. They have several offerings. They do. They get into the uh, when you get into the Old Scout. This is the American whiskey. Right. They have Old Scout um, bourbon. Yeah. And then they have different ages as well. And the reason they can't call this bourbon, I tried to read the tag. The print's so small, my eyes are so old, I had to take a picture and blow it up. So it flat out tells you um, it's, uh, it's a union of two whiskeys distilled from classic bourbon mash bills. One is aged in a new oak barrel, which of course would allow it to be called bourbon. However, the other matures in a rejuvenated, recharred bourbon cask, which means they cannot call it bourbon. Uh, while the unique aging excuses the marriage from being labeled, quote, a bourbon, it shares, as a bourbon, it says it shares all of the character and drinkability you would expect from a whiskey on the brink of being one. So that's interesting and educational in its label. Now, it does also say it's a blend of two whiskeys, one from Indiana, one from Tennessee. Ooh, MGP, baby. MGP in the house. So our Scotch God shout out. Bring it. John Christian Assen. Awesome. I'm going now, with Assen. I try to be polite. You, I try you, to be positive. You do and you are. This comment almost just leads me to And I've missed it. Be the 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 bad part of humanity. Really? And I've been a little bit AWOL from the comments. Now, John too. Christian Austin has his own YouTube channel. Sorry. See, I'm wanting to read it. He's got 173 subscribers, <laughs> but he feels like he needs to tell us okay. Okay. how things are done. More power to him. More power to him. John Christian Austin with a K. K-R-I-S-T-I-A-N. Okay. Austin, A-A-S-E-N. I'm not calling out his channel or that anybody should go check it out. Go check it out. Going back to our review number 10, Compass Box Orangey. I wow. forgot about this one. Way back. Or 10th. We are, or we've tenth done, show. we're on like 510 now. 500 right. reviews later, five years later. Half half a century. Half a millennium. John just watched this review. Okay. John says, you automatically use a water on an unknown whiskey. <laughs> Idiots. <laughs> water works with some whiskeys, but not all. Not trying it neat first is an amateur idiot move. <laughs> Stupid fudges. <laughs> to his credit, though, he's not wrong. No. Right. So he's not wrong. John, he's have just you noticed? Out of time. Yeah. Have you noticed this was five years ago and we were brand new? And this show is literally about our journey from. Scotch test dummies. Hopefully now we're just maybe scotch mm -hmm. test slow. But really, even if someone chose to add water to their yeah. whiskey first off, drink it. There's way. nothing wrong with that. True with that. You don't call someone a stupid fudge. Right. I should have said true dad. <laughs> From adding water. Does to he actually whiskey. use the bad word? Yes. Oh, yeah. That's not nice. I know. That's not. I but anyway, so I said, fudge. John. You're so nice to comment on our video. <laughs> if you notice, this video is about five years old, as in when we first started reviewing whiskey. Right. Check out some of our newer reviews, and maybe you won't think we're stupid fudges. <laughs> Did you use the dirty word? Yes. <laughs> and then I said, I hope you're not married. <laughs> I had to throw in a little tagger on there. 
You gotta oh. feel sorry for his wife. Oh, is that what it was? I hope you're not married because you're mean. Yeah. You probably. You... Baby, I don't this... like this effing lasagna. You put rye with salt in here? You stupid fudge. What are you Who, doing? Where's my freshly grated cheese over the top? I like Parmesan freshly grated over the top. I see you top. washed the car. Did you squeegee it? Hello. You stupid fudge. Fudger. John. <laughs> you got me slapping down the thing now. There's a lot of slapping. Come on. That is something, yeah. That's the, uh, even sure. though he's got his name on there, I mean, that's the anonymity. There sure. we go. But don't the drop internet. the F word, sure. Idiots and we're stupid fudges. Again, you're not wrong. Based on a review but you're not five right. years ago. Right. Yeah. I yeah. mean, and we learned that too. We don't, we even have droppers. If, hey, if someone this. buys this and pours it on ice mm -hmm. or with Coke. Drink it your way. Drink it your way. Yeah, that's the first rule. And then now we even have a fancy dropper. Have you tried yours yet? Have you tried it? I have not. Well, well I, I have. Well, oh, but have you tried it for the show yet? Not tonight. Hold on, no. look at what I'm oh, doing. He too. added a drop of water. I put a little, little that thing was of, water a drop of water. Now it's not you technically pure. Stupid idiot. You fudge. You stupid <laughs> idiot. <laughs> Jesus, you're so dumb. You've been wanting to call me that for five episodes. <laughs> All right. It reminds me cool. of well, Ben Stiller, the movie of Ben Stiller, where he oh, was the, yeah. the Which idol. And the, the oh, he's like all the and he's got yeah. the fancy like, you hair. idiot, yeah. you dumb, you stupid yeah. mother. Yeah. What you was idiot. it? He's like a fashion model. Yeah. <laughs> Him and uh, Owen. I need to watch that. Yeah, Wilson. Owen Wilson. You gonna give any nosy notes? Or you just go right in for the tasting. <laughs> I'm a stupid but, fudger. John Christian Austin, A A S E N. Just check out his channel. I'm not telling you to. Don't be mean to him though. Don't be mean. The dummies and all our fans are nice people. I get a really, it's almost like a, a malted whiskey, a nice grassiness on the nose. Hmm. It's very light. It is very light. I don't know if I can pick up the grassiness. I get the caramels. Very lightly though. Yeah. I, I can't even tell you there's vanillas. Nope. It's subtle. It's, it is subtle. Uh, what was the ABV is a little bit higher though. It's a uh, 49.5%. Now here's the thing though. The flavors to me are all just like they say, they're very bourbon-esque. Mm -hmm. Sure. So my only, well, it, here, like I told you before, you said American whiskey. What's that mean? I said, well, most of the time it's a bourbon mash, but it's just been aged in, in something that's not a, f a first fill. So they can't call it bourbon. Yeah. Right. Which is, the answer. it's a bourbon mm -hmm. mash. It's been aged totally. in other barrels other than first mm -hmm. fill. Tastes like Charm. bourbon to me. So. Um, I haven't gone in yet. I tasted this the other night. A very light bourbon. It's obviously yes, yeah, the refill. That, the refill. Yes. Exactly. You don't get those really deep, dark cinnamons, caramels, vanillas. Which I think is somewhat problematic. Because okay. I'm getting bourbon notes, but it's almost like they've been watered down. So it's like everything's pretending, not pretending, everything's leading you toward bourbon. It's like a ghost of bourbon. But then it's not like I'm getting barley notes or anything else. It's just like a lighter, fainter bourbon at a higher ABV. Yeah. And I can't see what the refill cask gives them. I mean, what well, would be the same as the scotch? I mean, we just did, we've done scotches that are just from yeah. refilled barrels. It yeah. brings in lighter, subtler notes. Sure, but scotch is bringing but in 100% percent malted for, barley. What's the reason for doing well. some? Scotches can be grain. They don't have to be 100% malted barley. Sure, but if you have a single, I guess I'm thinking of a single malt, uh, you're not going to have any grain in there at all. 
And it's going to be it, three years, and it can it, use a but here's, different cast. This is one of those different expectations. When you see the label in American whiskey, you should have different ex You should not think bourbon. No. You have to I think. I agree. Now, we've had the Michters. And right. I, if I would have thought ahead, I, I would have had you bring it so we could compare them side by side. Michters does an American whiskey. And I don't remember, really, it'd be neat to try them side by side but to that's see what, what I'm the talking differences about. were. When I taste it, I get faint bourbon. All the taste does is recall bourbon. Okay. It doesn't send me down a road of, I don't know. It doesn't make me think anything else other than bourbon. And then I'm wondering, for me, it's just a, a lightly flavored bourbon. What if you were a beginner? Then I would have put a lot of water in it before I tasted it. <laughs> I don't know. Sure. I mean, it's not... Um, there's nothing off-putting here. It's smooth. It's got, it's got nice, subtle caramel. Nice, subtle wood flavors. Mm -hmm. Maybe a touch of brown sugar. So I'm not saying yeah. there's nothing bad here. Yeah. It just feels like a downplayed high ABV bourbon, which perplexes my palate. Because I feel like it's a bourbon at half power at strong ABV. Sure. And it, and it is. It, right, I agree. But it's doing like this mind trick because it's a high ABV with, with a yeah. lot subtler bourbon flavors. Okay, so before we even score it, I'll just, just move into price because I'll tell you, this was, I got this on the clearance rack and it was $30. Okay. Normally $40. Okay. I, it exceeded my expectations. I knew when I bought it, it was an American whiskey and I didn't know what to expect. I really thought there would be a younger whiskey present that it would show some of the white dog. That's not there. And it's not there. No. Exactly. It does come off more well aged, better as far as that. But it is it's a lighter. It's like a you got Coors, <laughs> you got Coors, and you got Coors Light, right? You've got bourbon and the, you got bourbon light. Well, this Coors, is bourbon Coors light. Coors the banquet beer. This is, is right. This is Coors Light of bourbons. Okay, I like it. Exceeded it for thirty bucks. I think it's worth it. Um, and it, it exceeded my expectations. Is it the best? Is it the richest? Is it the most flavorful? No. Is it a good whiskey? Yeah. I would go an 87 on it. I don't know. You did add a drop of water. I, was gonna say, I hadn't even added water yet. Uh, it's an 81. It's 81. 81. It, it does everything a bourbon does at half power, double strength. <laughs> it's confusing to me. So, I like. I mean, I'm glad. I'm glad it was thirty dollars. Forty, I might be like, well, okay, it's close. It's probably still worth forty. Thirty dollars, yeah. There's cinnamon. So I'm getting cinnamon now. So I'm getting vanillas. So are they trying? Is this I'm trying to think? So they source from MGP, and then they're. It sounds like what? Then they're using a refill barrel on their own with some of their own Tennessee whiskey. It does, it just says uh, whiskey from Indiana and whiskey from Tennessee. I don't know if they've even distilled their own Tennessee. They could have sourced Tennessee Both. from Heaven Hill okay. right. or Dickel. Dickel. I, I don't really taste any charcoal. Well, Heaven Hill's Kentucky. Isn't it? They're not Tennessee. I think oh, be Dickel. well, that's true. That's true. So maybe they're getting, they've gone to the Dickel distiller or something. I don't know. It could but be that's Richards. What's, sure. Pritchard call. Is different. Nice. So Dickler or Pritchard's are the two that come to mind. So um, it just now, misses for me. It's it's a light bourbon. It is. Yeah, it is a light bourbon. When I and when I saw it called an American whiskey, I had I thought okay, and especially with the color of it, it's not that rich. Uh, when you look at it, where's the contradiction at? Let's see what kind of difference is. Oh yeah, look at the difference of the contradiction to it. Much darker. I bought it. It's an American whiskey. It's lightly colored. I was like, well, it's 30 bucks. Let's give it a go. And I got home and I tried it. And I was like, okay, it's pretty so, decent. So we're on, is it worth it? But I wasn't expecting a bourbon. I wasn't expecting those rich, dark notes. I wasn't expecting a bourbon until I tasted it. 
The second I tasted it, all I got was faint bourbon. Mm -hmm. All the mm -hmm. notes were bourbon-esque. I think it should be $20. <laughs> sure. It should be cheaper. Sure. If they put it out for $20, I think it'd be a great intro for those that, uh, that want to try a whiskey that's subtle. That's my only point. There's nothing wrong with it. It's smooth. I just got a little smoke, a little charcoal, a little char. Okay. So it's smooth. Um, I'm sticking with my 87. I think that's a good stick. <laughs> Do we have a try? John, I wonder here? what John Christian and Asson, asshole, thinks. Asson. Oh, 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 oh. I just had a slip. Yeah, it's it's late. The, it's late. American whiskey. Well, I don't know. He probably doesn't like the use of the refill. That would be my guess. John, I feel sorry for your wife. Oh. That's all I'm saying. We have one more Patreon shout out to do. Ah, it's a $2. It's a shouter. Are you ready? Zach Andrews? Yes. That one? Yes. You going to shout it? Yes. Zach Andrews! Woo! Thank you. He just rolled in earlier. Thank you. Uh, was that today? Well, yes. I know this was. is coming out in the future. It's later. Yeah, this is. Yeah. We are. Yeah, we're so we, today we're filming this on August sixth. Spoiler. Oh, just came in. I'm probably <laughs> seeing this a week or two from now. Yep. Zach Andrews just came in. Uh, Patreon. Patreon is uh, helps the show out a lot. It's really wow. our bread and butter. Patreon.com. Search up Scotch Test Dummies. You'll find us. Um, I still got to get in. I know I keep saying this. It's got to happen. I got to get the new tears in there. Yeah, you're busy. Well, and I've been vacationing and under the weather. Got to get it in there. But come in. You can do as little as a dollar. It's really up to you. You can do a dollar a month, or you can bring it all the way up to whatever you want. We've got a uh, few fans that do $100 a month. So find your sweet spot. Support us for whatever you think we're worth. <laughs> I'm the dollar. You're probably the hundred. <laughs> so come in and support us patreon uh it really does help to uh to keep the show up and running and uh, well, yeah when a lot of times when we do shootouts or we do kind of special bottling and stuff the patreon shootouts, funds shootouts are expensive we do 16 bottles blind we've had i bought a new mic and a mic stand yep. um, and the mic I stand is so new, cool i think i need it i needed a new uh, cable modem well, uh, we were getting ready to do the 12 that. hours of boom. We're, we're, well, that was the webcam. We're, yeah, we're checking well. stuff the night before. We got Shakes Pennington and Preblover checking our second computer that we were using. We start realizing, and I think even got yep. comments that our one camera wasn't just focusing well. Yeah. And there's nothing you can do to adjust it. It was bad. Yeah. And you went It was my old night. webcam, and I'd had some comments on sure. it. Sure. I just, I never realized it. It'd been that way really since I bought it. I just never realized it was bad. Got it. So, so we, we ran run out, out and Patreon funds, and, buy new yeah, new equipment for us. They buy us whiskey when we decide to do special stuff. Um, October 19th and 20th of this year, mm. check out scotchtestdummies.com. I'm encroaching. The events page. Uh, it's our fifth anniversary, fifth birthday. And <laughs> we're having a gathering here in Wichita. So you can come in. Uh, Friday night is a steak dinner and a tasting. <laughs> uh, Saturday, more of a casual hangout and a dinner right. and a tasting. You're, the bottle's blocking you. Hold on. Let me get that out of the way. Check out scotchtestdummies.com. Oh, your head's kind of cold. You like a vampire? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else? We never said uh, coin 460. 461 and scotch it, you scotch guy. Cilantro. Dumbass. Dumbass.